Patricia Collins reminisces over some albums and what a life she's had. She came to Canada from England for safekeeping during the war. That's how I looked when I first came to Canada. A year and a half later, in 1942, she joined the Royal Canadian Air Force, but her intentions weren't initially to serve. The three of us, the three girls, we saw these men outside waiting to be recruited. So we thought, well, we'll just go in and get recruited. We th there was a way of meeting these boys, but we didn't meet any boys that way. And then I got posted to the women's manning depot, just women. Nonetheless, Collins was among the first group of Air Force women to be sworn in. And when a wing officer asked if anyone was interested in photography, Collins jumped at the chance. I thought, oh, I'm posted to this women's depot. I'll never meet a man. So I might as well join everything. <laughs> she was one of just nine women chosen to take the first course. One of the photographers said to me, just keep your mouth shut and learn what you can. And, uh, you know, everything's a learning process. And it was very good advice. And I got through the course, it, uh, and it wasn't easy. I was really pretty pleased with myself. After a year of taking photos of graduating Air Force classes, she was posted overseas to London as a senior photographer. That really was like falling on my feet. I mean, I photographed weddings and funerals and investitures. And the funeral was not a happy time, but you did not know. You know, you, you took those photographs to send home to the parents. She also photographed the destruction caused by the bombing in London and was the first female photographer to take General Eisenhower's picture. But her most difficult moment was when photos surfaced from Belson concentration camp. That will stay with me forever. The boy that took the pictures who I knew quite well, sent this communique and said, don't go home, something's coming. You stay as late as you have to. And we did. And it, was, it, was a, it, was, it was the worst of all the experiences I think I had. But now we'll meet the modern woman who makes news by shooting the news. After the war, she sent her resume to Reuters, and she got a job shooting fashion and daily assignments. This path pictorial short movie shows Collins in her role there at the tender age of 22. She even got to photograph celebrities of the day, like Shirley Temple. But dashing Hollywood leading man David Niven was her favorite celebrity. I don't know, he called me blue eyes. <laughs> But the man who really caught her eye was Art Collins, a fighter pilot who was awarded the French Legion of Honor and Distinguished Flying Cross. They married and raised five children together. Now widowed, Collins has been a resident at Sunnybrook for several months. Amazingly, she remembers taking pictures of Sunnybrook's opening. Now, more than half a century later, it's her home and a place to showcase her life in pictures. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis. Thank you.